Hi Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is your May reading, okay? I know, I know we're getting late into May. I'm sorry. Um, so we're going to look at your general theme. What's up for money? What's up for career? How are other people going to maybe improve your month and how are they maybe potentially going to ruin it? And then we're going to look at um, what you should focus on spiritually in order to have the happiest month ever and then your power crystal of the month. Let's get started. I keep forgetting to mention this, but for those of you who um, don't know, if you go to my website, and there's like a link in the description box below, you can sign up to win a free reading every month. And so like you just sign up once and you're automatically in the drawing forever style. And so I just wanted to let you know. Cancer, what is the general theme for your month? The law of attraction is your theme. And look at how the card is pink, okay? So it's going to have to, it's only going to work if it's coming from your heart chakra. If the things that you're saying that you want are really coming from your heart, okay? Now, um, this is talking about like our heart chakra frequency, okay? This is saying like, these are the things that I love. These are the things that I want. If we're not vibrating at the energy of love or above, it's hard for us to draw things in, okay? So we're going to focus this month on the things that we want most, Think of those things in positive, loving ways. No fear or anything attached to those. And I'm smiling because I know what your power crystal is. And um, and then that's how we're going to bring those about. So spoiler alert, it does help you with manifestation and um, eliminating fears. Okay? So awesome. Now, that's our theme. What's up for money? And I guess, you know, how are we going to sort of manifest more money? And so here's what it says. Now, New ideas are um, things that you speak about, you bring about, okay, or things that you write down. It's going to be important for you to either write them down or talk about these new ideas that you have. They will be successful for you. Even if they're not things that you um, bring to completion, like you start a new project or you launch a new business, like it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be successful, you know, in these last couple weeks of May. But what it does mean is that it is a successful idea and down the road it will bring you success, but you have to at least um, write down the ideas or or at least talk about them with somebody else in order to get those things out into the universe to start bringing those through and to create more income for yourself. They're saying like you might not see this come to full completion by the end of May. However, um, moving on from an old way of doing things by talking about this, by writing it down, journaling it, gratitude journaling for things in advance, you will be walking into this place where it's like more balanced and you have more finances. Um, things are easier to balance financially for you. But you have to be vibrating at that energy of love or above like we talked about with this energy of hope one plus seven is an eight and it says quick eight is quick okay one is a new idea seven is expanding that idea and eight is the quick reward okay so by taking physical action you know with your hands and um you know using your own personal power with the yellow here then you're going to be able to bring about this new success, okay? They're saying you might not get um, significant reward or recognition for it in the month of May, but these are still things you want to start working on and working towards because they will pay off for you. So what's up in regards to your career? And they're saying movement choices and decisions, okay? And this is all about, you know, we're going from one with the idea to two. So your money and your career are tied together this month. For some people, they're not. Some people have, like, a good amount of passive income or, like, an inheritance or, you know, they're just lucky. They win the lottery, so stuff like that. But for you, Cancer, this month, it's saying, like, we've got to start thinking about this. Like, what is the best long-term plan and goal for me? And start putting that into action. And the reason why is because things haven't been balanced in your life. Maybe your finances are fucked up. Maybe your work-life balance is screwed up. Something's just not quite right in this sector, okay? And so they're saying, like, even if you're making a good amount of money and your work-life balance is good, it's maybe not what you want to be doing, like, from a passionate point of view. You know, it might not be very spiritual for you. And, um, you know, spirituality isn't this, like thing where it's just, you know, prayer and 
you know, mysticism and meditation and mindfulness. No, the things that you love are a very spiritual experience. When you get into the flow of something, that's a spiritual experience. That's you connecting to source, whether you realize it or not. And they're saying, so things that you might not um, become famous for, things that you might not, um, are maybe not popular ideas, but they're still your passion, are things that you want to start working towards. And this is where those new ideas that will bring you abundance should be coming from. So these are all coming to you in the month of May. So how will other people improve your month? And it's saying, honestly, um, the losses that you faced, like people that have left your life either through death, you know, that you're grieving, grieving or, um, you know, through breakups, friendships that ended and stuff like that. Those kind of people, um, try not to let them affect your May too much, okay? We might kind of go to that place and feel some sadness, but we want to keep our vibration high. So it doesn't mean you shouldn't miss them. It doesn't mean you shouldn't grieve them. Um, but try not to let that get tied into what it is that you're trying to manifest here. Have like a space for that. You know, like I am going to only cry about this for 10 minutes and then I'm going to continue on with my day. They're saying, um, you know, financial and material changes, they will help with that when you're in a hard time because fives are all about miscommunication, discord, um, things just kind of not going your way. They're a little bit dramatic. And so people will help you to get through those processes and put you back onto the right path. Now, um, because when you start to fall into a negative mindset, okay, another five here, when things start to go wrong, um, if you're on your own, you're just going to continually kind of go down this negative thought pattern or cycle. And that's not going to benefit you when we're trying to focus on the things that we want, right? We want to be on an upward cycle. And so I don't know if you see here that um, when he reaches to the side to slow his fall, like down this negative cycle, there are people here kind of trying to climb up. Okay, they're etched into the wall. And so it's saying lean on other people to help build you up and help you to feel confident about the changes that you're making because they are for the better. Now, um, how will people potentially mess up your month? And those cards flew right out of the deck. So this is important. Now, there are some people who just are not in touch with what with the message that you're trying to get out there about what it is that you want to do, about what it is that you want to achieve with your ideas. No matter what you say, they're going to be negative about it, okay? These people are not the kind of people that you want to align yourself with because they're not going to be your potential clients or helpers or, you know, cheerleaders anyway. It's saying you don't have to like give up the things that you desire, the things that you know that are right for you just because somebody else thinks it's a bad idea. Then this product or this launch or this service isn't for them. They're not your ideal client anyway, so fuck them, essentially. Don't let what other people say bother you at all, okay? Now what they're saying is, um, you know, focus on the people who have been supportive for you in the longer term. Think about like the people who add benefit to your life, that bring your life into more balance, that really cherish and nurture you because that's what we're doing. We're leaning on them this month. Now, in order to become, um, you know, like what area of spirituality should we focus on in order to have the happiest month to achieve this great balance and stuff? And they're saying this would be a really great month for you to experience like a Reiki healing or an energy healing. You can heal your own energy if you want, if you know how to do that. Um, but that's kind of what you need to do. There's some shit in here that we need to clear out. Maybe um, it doesn't look like your heart chakra is necessarily blocked, but there might be a few root chakra problems. And what happens is because it's like the Maslow's hierarchy of needs pyramid, if there are issues down here with the foundation, with that root chakra, with the sacral chakra, with the um, solar plexus, it makes it hard for that one to be completely as open as it should be. So, um, what I wanted to talk about now is your power crystal, okay? Your power crystal is citrine. So um, it comes in like raw form like this. It comes in clusters. What citrine does is it does correlate to your solar plexus chakra, which is this one right here, like kind of where your stomach sits, okay? Now what this does is it helps to give you more personal power, more energy, enthusiasm, more creativity to kind of accomplish these ideas that you'll have. Maybe it'll help you get that idea. It eliminates fear, negativity, um, anxiety for sure. So it'll kind of give you that boost that you need to move forward with this stuff that I'm talking about in order to bring you more abundance and better positive career changes and things like that. So that is your month and um, love readings are also going to be posted here as well. See you in June. 
Thanks so much for watching this video and getting all the way to the end of it. I really appreciate your support. If you are interested in other videos, click here. If you are interested in subscribing, go ahead and click here. Hit that notification bell so that you get alerted to when new videos come out and also when I do surprise live streams. And then if you're interested in winning a free 20 minute video uh, reading personally every month, go ahead and click right here. Mwah!